Race number three, the Marcellus Frost, two and a quarter miles, 14 national fences. And being recalled, false start. Flag still up and back they go. Once again, moving in line for the start. And the flag is up. And this time all standing attentively. Last orders from Sterling Young, flag down and they're off in the Marcellus Frost. And all the way well, show court on the outside, ice it. Surprising soul to the inside, laser light next. Then Mac Nicholson, Royal Caviar. Miguel Grau he is next in Maya Fleet as they jump the first of 14. Show court in front by two and a half as they move to the second jump. I sit second ahead and surprising soul. On the inside, they're in third. Then we go to Royal Caviar fourth ahead and Mac Nicholson on the outside. Two and a half to Maya Fleet followed by Miguel Grau Laser light is the back marker. About nine lengths off the leader as they round the far turn the first time. Show court on the lead. Over fence three, two and a half to the good of Ice it. Mac Nicholson on the outside and surprising soul. They're in fourth, Royal Caviar. Middle of the pack, yellow cap in fifth. Maya Fleet next, then Laser Light and Miguel Grau. As they jump the fifth and come to the wire for the first time. Willie McCarthy has show court. Moving well on the lead as they make their way to fence six. Isit is next, then two and a half to Surprising Soul. Royal Caviar there in fourth. Miguel Grau in the orange, next fifth. Maya Fleet next, Laser Light. And Mac Nicholson unseated his rider as they make their way to the back straight for the final time. Show court bouncing along there in front by two and a half. Ice it is next surprising soul three behind the leader. Maya Fleet there in fourth then comes Miguel Grau. Five back to laser light as they head down the back straight for the final time. In the Marcellus Frost. Show court still in front. On the outside, surprising soul, ice it is next, Maya Fleet. Four off the pace and gaining. Two and a half to Miguel Grau's being urged on now. And another four back to Laser Light as they head down the back straight for the final time. On they go now to fence number 12. Show court in front of half. Surprising soul right there on the outside, two and a half to ice it, who's getting the whip now. Maya Fleet is next, two and a half, Miguel Grau, and Laser Light drops back into the far turn. Surprising soul collars the leader on the outside. Show court at the hedge gives way to second. Maya Fleet is next, then comes ice it, two and a half to Miguel Grau. Surprising soul. 
gets to the front here for Ross Garrity as they turn for home. Surprising soul by four. Maya Fleet is next, then Ice it. A fading show court, then Miguel Grau. Now at the 14th and final jump, Ross gets the whip out. It's surprising soul by three. And then comes Maya Fleet, six back to ice it. It's surprising soul in front. The winner, number one, Surprising Soul. Number four, Maya Fleet was second. Number two, Ice at third. Number three, Miguel Grau, fourth. Joining me now in the winner's circle is winning jockey Ross Garrity for the number one Surprising Soul of the Marcellus Frost Handicap. This is a big race, it was a deep field. Take me back to the start. I noticed he was giving you a little bit of a hard time trying to just warm up. I thought I saw you standing up in the irons and just trying to get him to settle a little bit. Yeah, he was keen to get on with us. Um, after he won his maiden at Aiken, he bounced out at when to try on. Won well there. And he just kept improving. And that's Ricky and Eve and you can tell me that he just keeps getting better and better. So it's not a shock. It was a very tough field of horses and very competitive. And when we turned on the back, I just had so much horse that moved out just to try and get him to relax a bit. Got a breather into him, and then it was from the bottom of the hill, I let him roll on. I, I knew he'd stay going, he jumped super. So we're very happy and not surprised. It looked like that was the, at the point that he won the race for you, at least uh, your strategy seemed to unfold that way from the backside that second time around. Take me back a little bit more about the uh, springtime with this horse. This horse is trained by Ricky Hendricks. It's owned by his mom, Wendy, is that correct? Yeah, they're great people, and we have so much fun together. And Wendy's had a great season so far, and it's a fifth winner. And Ricky's had a bunch of winners. The horse is in great form. And, you know, we, we, we go to the race and we enjoy ourselves. There's no hard luck stories. There's no post-mortems. You know, we figure out what happened and get it fixed for the next second.